Hi, I'm Stefan Karlberg. Welcome to my coffee making tutorial for busy baristas. Let me first say I'm pleased to have you here and also I am not a world champion barista. I do have 15 years of experience in the coffee making business so I hope I can impart some of that knowledge that I've gained through this video here. Now the most important aspect in the coffee making business is to be consistent. You have to be there every day, five o'clock in the morning, you have to make the coffee consistently well. So when it's really busy and you are trying to churn out three coffees a minute, you have to make those coffees as well as you can. So the most important aspect of making a coffee is the espresso. So the espresso is going to depend on how you grind the coffee. You should have the grinder, I'm pointing at it now although you can't see it, the grinder has to be set up before you start. Every day you fine tune it so that you make sure that the consistency of the ground coffee comes out the way you need it. So you dial it in in the morning and then you change it as the day goes on because the temperature is going to change, the uh, humidity is going to change and that's going to affect how the grind comes out. So you've got to be sure that you get the uh, grind right where it's going to be. You get the right dose so that it comes out properly. Then you make sure that you tamp it correctly. So you put the right pressure on there so that it gets nice and even. There's no channeling that's going to happen once you get it in the uh, coffee machine. Once you have the espresso running and it uh, has a nice flow, it should be between 25 and 30 seconds. We'll see what I managed to do in uh, this one. The steam one should be about a third in on the side of the uh, milk pot and you should get the temperature up to about 60 to 65 degrees get the air into it you need to stretch the milk so that it is uh, a nice consistency this you learn by doing i am not going to teach you how to make beautiful latte art in this coffee making tutorial because 90 percent of the coffees that i've served in the 15 years i've been in this business has been in takeaway containers you put a lid on that, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It does matter what it tastes like though. Nowadays, uh, the environmentally friendly cup is quite popular as well. Guess what? Got a lid on it as well. So as long as you make a consistent coffee that tastes good, all the latte art in the world is not going to matter. It's going to be serving coffee with a lid on. And if that is the case, make sure that you do it consistently. Beautiful is not going to count, it's going to be taste. So there you have it. If you want to get good at making coffee, you have to practice a lot. Thank you for watching this. If you like it, press the like button. If you really like it, even subscribe. I'm just happy you were here. Thank you.